Hey guys, so Apple has finally released the first public beta for iOS 17, today releasing iOS 17 public beta 1. Now in this video, I wanted to talk about what are the differences between the public beta running on this iPhone 11 and the developer beta running on this iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now in this video, I also want to show you how to sign up. I know a lot of you guys may be tempted to sign up for the public beta for iOS 17, and I wanted to share with you guys the details on how to do so, how to download the software into your iPhone, and most importantly, should you update to the public beta if you're not running developer beta already. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Okay, so first things first, how do you sign up for iOS 17 public beta 1? Well, all the links will be provided in the description down below. On your iPhone, you don't need a computer. You want to go into Safari web browser. When you click the links in the description, it will bring you here to Apple's beta software program. And you can see right here that Apple gives you a quick preview of what to expect with iOS 17, iPadOS, and macOS Sonoma, tvOS 17, and watchOS 10, and even the HomePod software 17 so you can sign up if you haven't signed up already or you can sign in if you've already signed up now go ahead and go through the sign up process if you want to go ahead and register your device for the public beta testing program i've already signed up for developer and public so i'm going to do the sign in in order to log into the actual website here it's going to ask for my password once i sign up or sign in it will bring me to this page right here and then you can go ahead and start enrolling your device so right here enroll your iOS device you want to click here after get started of course you want to make sure you back up your device before you attempt to install any developer or public beta so click enroll your iOS device once you're done enrolling and signing up for the service you can click right here on open and beta updates it will bring you to the settings application on your iPhone and you'll see this new category here where you can select the public beta option once you do you want to go back twice and then go back into software updates and ios 17 public beta should populate for you for you to install it onto your iphone now before we continue i want to talk about today's sponsors k school and their brand new cloud kush cases take a look at these cases all around the edges we have this air cushion technology that absorbs shock this is a cloud-like edge field design that protects your iphone and also looks good it is available in various colors. I'm sure you've seen me use these cases over the past couple of weeks. These are three meter military gray drop resistant. So you have nothing to worry about with these cases. They feel good. They look good. And of course, they alleviate stress as well because the design feels great in your hand for texting, gaming, or browsing the internet. They have this really cool edge design that I really love. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy as well. And they do have a testing campaign. So if you want to learn more about case cool's brand new cloud kush cases all the links will be of course in the description down below now the next thing i want to talk about is what's the difference between developer beta 3 released yesterday and public beta 1 released today well to be honest there's nothing that's different in terms of features and everything else because it is the exact same build number as a matter of fact if we go into settings here general and about we click on the public beta here we see that the build number right there it is for the first public beta is going to be 21A5277J if we go to the developer beta here this one's running developer beta 3 so let's go here and show you this is developer beta 3 right there it is developer beta so if we go back here into the about section and we go into the build number take a look at that the exact same build number so these two betas are basically the same beta so this is basically iOS 17 and beta 3 for the public essentially it is the first public beta but it's the same as developer beta 3 I know it can get a little bit confusing but it's the exact same software here now last but not least the number one question you guys always ask is should I update to iOS 17 and developer or public beta now given the fact that today Apple released the first public beta for other platforms you guys may be tempted to updating now here's what I can tell you this is still beta software some of your applications 
stations may not be fully compatible. You may experience excessive battery drain as well and bugs and issues across the operating system. If you're willing to put up with those types of things that could happen, then sure, update to iOS 17 public beta 1. As I mentioned, it is the same as developer beta. It's running fairly nice on my device. Things are running pretty smooth so far with the developer beta 3, which is again the same as public beta 1. But again, it's been mixed results across the board. A lot of users report great experiences, not too many bugs, but other users as myself also experience a lot of battery drainage and issues with bugs and freezing with the keyboard and things like that. So just keep that in mind. In terms of updating, just entirely up to you. I would wait another beta if it was me, but hey, if you guys want to update today, I know it is tempting. iOS developer and public beta are now available for you to download. Thank you for watching this quick video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know if you've updated. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.